Ahmed Sanusi wrote, One peculiar thing about the three, the top three guys battling it out for the number one seat is that either of them is there for the money. Number one, one has mixed Nigeria well enough systematically and just wants to answer president by all means. He lives in Dubai full time and only comes around every four years to contest for the presidency. He does not understand the struggle of the average Nigerian. He does not care so much if he loses this one. He will go back to Dubai and wait until the next four years before coming out again. Besides the fact that his ambition is scary, we can't afford to have a poor Bia of Cameroon as a president. Two, Another has been controlling Lagos treasure since 2003. He just wants to fulfill his lifetime political ambition of answering president, even if he dies the next day after swearing in. He would probably share Nigeria like cake to his boys, just like he did in Lagos State. At this end of the day, he would teach us what being fantastically corrupt actually means. Then, number three, person. The other one, the other was already a billionaire before 2003 and quite contented with himself. He does not need your money for anything. He wants to be president to reset things and lay the foundation for systematic governance in the future. He relates with the struggles of the average Nigeria. He understands what Nigeria needs and he has volunteered himself to save us from impending catastrophe. Win or lose, he would most. He would most likely not contest again. So it is up to us to choose wisely. Mohammed Sanusi. Hmm. This test is really deep. This is a deep test the Nigerians should read and understand what Mohammed Sanusi is trying to say. These people, they did not really have the interests of the masses at heart. They just want to fulfill their own selfish interests. They want to become the Nigerian president because they want to answer president. What do they have to offer? May God bless Sanusi for this writer. He just did explain my point of argument about Peter Ubi and why I resolved to support him all the way. People are saying Peter Ubi does not have structure. Peter Ubi cannot win this and this. You that is saying Peter Ubi does not have structure, what can you do? Are you not a structure of Peter Ubi? Are you not a Nigerian? Are you not among girls who are buying a loaf of bread for 1,000 naira? So if you have a family of six, you should be talking about 2,000 naira for just to buy bread for breakfast. Are you not among Nigerians who cannot sleep with two eyes? We sleep with one eye open. You don't know what is going to happen the next minute. Are you not in Nigeria that's you know, if you get full mind, say you won't travel because you don't know whether Fulani has men, then go they road to wait for you. They will kidnap, they ask for ransom. If you not get in call, then go kill you. Nigerians should realize that we have suffered enough. Forget about all these 10,000 naira they are sharing. You can just end up in using it to buy a loaf of bread. For two days. But we are talking about 10 years. We are talking about 10 years. Someone said here. Yeah, I and my. I was talking about 8 years. <laughs> Sorry about that. I and my family. We vote Peter Ubi. For better Nigeria. We need to produce and consume. Corrupt delegates of APC and PDP. Will not decide. For Nigeria. I must vote my conscience. Peter Obi is like Gary. 
no average, but he is selling. He is also needed by all Nigerian youth. Thank you, Sanusi. I will continue to respect your opinion, my dear sir. You are one of the good elites who have in, we have in Nigeria. You said it all. The choice is ours to make whether he be whether to be hungry today and secure tomorrow by voting Peter Obi or say your tomorrow again by voting others. My PVC, my power. I got ears dropping. I got tears dropping from my eyes with your right up, my brother. God will give us new Nigeria. We are crying for by going to the polling unit and vote our light and our right also. God Almighty will fight our battle. Peter Obi is the answer to Nigeria politics by God's grace. Powerful and meaningful message to all citizens of Nigeria. With this, Nigeria does not need any election comes 2023. We can do it by asking the Labour Party to lead us first as a trial. Thanks, Alaji Sanusi, for this utmost observation. No one but re honorable Peter Obi. Quite a remarkable one and a fulfilling hope analysis. Please kindly, in your honor and capacity, facilitate this change that all of us are agitating for, for a better Nigeria and a better future. Respect you, sir. Sanusi. We must get it right this time by voting wisely. Peter Obi is a candidate for better Nigeria, Labour Party. My fellow Nigerians, we can do it. Our PVC is our power, the game changer. Hmm. So guys, these are some reactions by Nigerians. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you very much for...